Hello Notioneers, it's Chris here with a Notion 6.1 video just covering our new keyboard shortcuts um, for navigation and for note entry. Let's start off with the navigation first. So without the use of the mouse, I can now move around my score. If I hold down the control or command key, Windows users, if you see this, it's a Mac symbol, sorry about that. But just imagine that I'm pressing control. All the shortcuts that you see are updated in the new shortcuts PDF, which you'll find in the help menu. Uh, but let's have a look. So if I press command and then the arrow keys, right, left, up, and down. I can also go between staves and systems as well. So I'll just jump down to the next system so I can move around my score. Now, once I've got to somewhere, I can hit enter to make a selection. I can hit enter again to start a range selection and that'll toggle between those two states. So that's just hitting enter over and over again. Now I have a range selection there. I can extend it. Hold down Alt and then, or the Option key, and then left and right. I can also go up and down to extend my selection. And I can extend my selection by a measure just by adding Shift to the combination. And that's making a range selection without using the mouse. Once that's done, I can use my current keyboard shortcuts to change the pitch. That's using the cursor up and down, or by a half step up and down, or I won't start. Or by an octave, command shift, up and down. If I wanted to select individual notes, I just hit enter again, and then all those notes there are selected, and I can add articulations get rid of it and escape to come back to normal. Command and A selects the whole score. Command Shift and A selects a part and Alt and A now selects a measure. While we're talking about um, cursor keys, I can now move selected items with my cursor, left, right, up and down. I can fine tune it as well. If I hold down shift, so that's looking at the new keyboard shortcuts for general navigation around your score in Notion 6.1. Let's have a look at the exciting way of adding pitches. Now in Notion there are many ways of getting your notes onto the page, from clicking with your mouse from the palette, using the keyboard shortcuts, using one of the on-screen instruments, hooking up a MIDI guitar or a MIDI keyboard. And newly in Notion 6, you can now handwrite uh, into Notion and have it pop up. And of course, you can import music XML and, and MIDI files. Uh, but one thing we didn't have before was the ability to play in pitches using the keyboard on your computer, uh, which we can now do. Now, this is an option in step time. So go to preferences and just check that QWERTY is selected in step entry. So we click we're going to start and then go into step time, clicking the steps up here or control command E. Now we put in our notes, we can select the durations with the numbers at the top and the pitch names A, B, C, D, E, F, G from the letters on your keyboard. The pitches will follow in the octave of the previous note. So if you want to change the octave that you're in, use Notion standard keyboard shortcuts to change the pitch. So in this case, we want to drop an octave. So that's Command, Shift, and down, or up. Then the following notes will follow in that same octave. If I want to adjust the note I've just put in to so say, make that into a C sharp, I can again use the standard Notion shortcut to do that, which is Shift and up, and then just up and down to change by a whole tone. Now, while I'm writing in, I can also add articulations. We can add those in. To clear the articulation on the next note, hit equals. 
And just as an aside, equals is actually quite a useful keyboard shortcut. Let's just come out of step entry for a second just to see that. If I make a selection and hit equals twice, it clears all the articulations off um, whatever selection you have. Uh, quick, uh, quick tip there. Anyway, let's go back into our step time entry. Um, <clears throat> so this is really, really fast way of getting notes in, and especially if you're traveling as well, everything you need is under your fingertips from the pitches to the rhythms. You can also do tuplets. So if I hit Alt and three, add in my tuplets. I can add a tie as well by Shift and T, T. And also make a chord by adding Shift. While we're on the chords, we now have a new keyboard shortcut to cycle through the chords. Shift, Alt, and up and down. This is great if you want to, for example, just change the enharmonic of one of the notes and not the entire chord, which is now possible in Notion. So that's a quick overview of our new features in 6.1, moving around the score, navigating with keyboard shortcuts, and the ability to enter your notes with QWERTY keys on your keyboard. Thanks for watching.